Hey, how y'all doing out there? This is Radio DJ Apostle Rod Spurgeon presenting the IOPM, that is Infinite Order Prophetic Ministries, a.k.a. Daz Ministries, with five-fold ministry gift, Prophetess Darnetta Allen Skidmore. No need to prolong the time. <laughs> Let's feel the power of God with Prophetess Darnetta Allen Skidmore, shall we? <laughs> God bless you. God bless you guys this morning. God bless each and every one of you this morning. I pray you are doing well. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Good morning. Welcome to Infinite Art of Prophetic Ministries. I pray that God is just doing great things in your life this morning. I really don't have a very long time, but I just need to release a word from the Lord. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Lord, have mercy. The fire is burning, y'all. The fire is burning. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Jesus. 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 Hallelujah. There's a word from the Lord. Bless the Lord. Now, I tend to get burdens for certain things, and I don't like it. And a lot of times I have to examine myself before I can really deal with the burden. I have to examine what is the issue, what is the problem. And the Lord had been dealing with me on a sermon I preached some years, uh, maybe a few months ago, last year. I want to say some years, but last year. And he took me to the, the pool of Bethesda. You guys know the story when the blind, uh, when the man was laying in the bed for 38 years, right? And this was back in John, the fifth chapter. And one thing the Lord highlighted was, what do you do when your answer shows up with a question? Uh huh. So what happened in the situation was that the man was laying in a situation, whether it was with, you know, a lot of us in on here, you got five years of issues. You got six years, 10 years, whatever your issue is, you need to identify your issue because it is spiritually blinding you. It is spiritually crippling you and it's spiritually paralyzing you. Oh my God. Oh, oh shot. So some of you, God wants you to examine your situation. What have you lied in, laid in? And what is it that you've gotten comfortable in? When you look at a bed, glory to the Lord, we, we fix our bed all nice, but you know you got to take them sheets off and wash them. Come on here. And some of us, we're laying in some dirty stuff. We, we're laying in places where God has released us from. And those things that God has delivered you from, he wants you to identify your condition. Oh, by shakable side. What issue? What is your condition in this season? Because I'm reminded that the angel came and stirred the water at a certain season. Come on here. And this is your season. Come on, Jesus. Uh, this certain season, uh, God wants you to, to, to expose and to release some stuff out of your life. Come on, my God. Kondobosha. See, I, I, I like the fact that many who got in, they passed him on by, but Jesus showed up. He saw him. Come on, he saw him. And he began to approach him. And he said, uh, oh, God, Kondobosha, will thou be made whole? Oh, my God. My question to you today is, will thou be made whole? What is your condition? I need you to identify your area. I need you to go ahead and examine thyself. Come on, soul struggle. There's some struggling within the soul, my God, that God wants you to identify Jesus. But now can I tell you that the, the angels have stirred the water. Mm. This is a season and some of you are in line waiting, but some of you are backing up because you don't want to get to the front of the line. Can I tell you that you need to move up to the front of the line? Got shovel shot. Can I tell you that you got to move up? Uh, come on, get closer to the water. And I, I'm recognizing that when the angel came to trouble the water, that's going to cause some stuff that's going to trouble you. Uh huh. And that thing that come to trouble you is not coming to kill you. Come on, Jesus. Uh, so struggle. Hello, somebody. It's time now. Time out. To get up and get out of the mess. Come on, identify your condition. There's an answer for your condition. Jesus showed up with a question, not that he didn't know the answer, but he needed you to recognize that question that you had in your spirit that you need an answer to. Come on. Some of you, God has told you to get up out of your bed. Come on, pick up your mess. I don't need nobody else picking up my mess for me. I like the fact that divine connections come. I like it. Come on. But some things God wants you to do on your own. Come on here. He wants to mature you on your own. On. Come on. No, I'm not isolated. Come on, Jesus. I'm just consecrated because God has to clean me up. There's some things that got to be broken off me. When the man, when Jesus showed up to the man, there was a wheel. Oh, and away. Come on, 
Lord Jesus. There was a will and a way. Soul struggle. Come on here. There's a time now. Time out for playing games. Uh, time out for getting comfortable. Time out for waiting on other people to carry you. Come on. Uh, get yourself up. Uh, begin to walk. I feel a preacher right here. Get yourself up uh, and begin to walk. The battle was never yours. Uh, but it, what will happen is we try to take over the battle. You don't even have the weapons for your battle. Come on here. But when Jesus showed up, uh, he had some strategy for your battle. Come on. I feel a flow here. But can I tell you that when God shows up, uh, he comes to change some stuff. Uh, when the water showed up, uh, there had to be a purification in you. Uh, I came right here. Come on. See, uh, the camp to come on here. Expose the enemy in this season. Uh, there's some things God is going to expose. Uh, but I need you to accept what you see. I need you to see your the way God sees you, but now I command uh, that your li alignment take place. Uh, see, you can't, you, uh, yeah, well, see, God can't expose something that you, you tend to hide. Mm -hmm. Unforgiveness, bitterness. I don't care who's done you wrong. It's time to release it. It's time to grow up. Come on here. You got to get in a position where those who might carry you will be able to see you the way God sees you. But not just carry you to correct you. Come on. Not just correct you, but to, to rebuke you. Come on. Some of us, we want to be rubbed and, and encouraged all the time. But can I tell you, let's expose the devil right now. If there's some issues that need to be exposed, my condition does not uh, determine my, my destiny, but it process me when I'm beginning to see it and allow God to do it. Come on here. Bless the Lord. Glory to the Lord. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. You know, I just felt that, uh, yeah, that unction because somebody needs to be reminded if you keep letting people pass you by, it's not because they don't care and don't love you. It's because you made a decision to lay back and uh, lay, uh, uh, begin to relax in your place where you need to get up and move. Come on. You got to get yourself up and move. There, there's something purpose before you. There's a plan before you. There's a purification needs to happen on the inside of you. But can I just charge you up in this morning and tell you that it's time now to move into the things that God has purpose for your life. Everybody's not going to stay with you, but he has to mature you. And sometimes he got to set you apart and pull you away from the norm. You know, the norm looks good because it used to be that way. I'm used to it being this way. But how about if you release it and let God do it? Come on. How about if you allow God to process you out of your mess? Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Glory to the Lord. Glory to the God. I love you guys. And I thank you so much for yielding to this scope this morning. I pray as the Lord will continue to bless and to keep you. This is your truly prophetess, Darnetta Allen Skidmore. Give the sister some hearts. Come on here. Hallelujah. Check out my book, Soul Struggle, Amusement Park of Life. Amusement Park called the life. I'm working on something else that's really going to knock some shoes off some feet around here. God bless you guys. Check out my website, dasministries.org. Have a wonderful day. Hey Amen. Now, wasn't that a move of God? <laughs> Boy, I tell you, I got my miracle. This is IOPM once again, Infinite Order Prophetic Ministries, and I'm your DJ, Apostle Spurgeon. What you just experienced was the Honorable Apostle Prophetess Darnetta Allen Skidmore. If you'd like to pay your tithe, sow a seed, or just have a prayer request, you can do so by sending such to the following. IOPM, that's Infinite Order Prophetic Ministries, P.O. Box 258, Payne Courtville, Louisiana. 70391. Once again, that's IOPM, P.O. Box 258, Payne Courtville, Louisiana, 70391. Her email address is darnettas at gmail.com, and her ministry website is dazministries.org. Until next time, this is Daz Ministries with IOPM, and in the words of Prophetess Darnetta Allen Skidmore, glory to the Master.